Hello, hello, everyone. This is Starbright. I am going to do a read on you guys. This is going to be for December the 14th through the 21st. The 14th through the 21st. This is not going to resonate with everyone. This is going to be for your, your sun, your moon, rising, and Venus, and Jupiter. I'm doing all signs readings, all the way from Aries to Pisces. Hmm. All the way from Aries and Aries to Pisces. All right. Okay, Aries. Who do you have for you, Aries? Aries. What do they have for Aries spirit and their partner, Aries, and the person that they're thinking of? What Aries need to know about Aries and the person that's on their mind? What do Aries need to know, spirit? Aries and the person that's on your mind with truth and clarity. This is going to be for December 14th through the 21st, 2021. Hmm. Aries, you got somebody that wants a successful relationship with you. This person want to party with you. That person want to have fun with you. It could be a cancer or somebody that is energy. This is someone that sees you. They want to party with you. But this person had to choose between two people. This is what I'm getting from this card. This person want a reunion with you, but this person have to choose. Or this person want to uh, have a party with you and someone else. I see two women here and I see one man or it could be vice versa. This person want a reunion with you. This person want to have fun with you, but this person have to choose between two people. have cut you out of their life or you could have cut this person out of your life this is the one that was listening to what you had to say this is the one who didn't like what you had to say and this person had cut you out of their life and ghost you a cancer a libra virgo Plus, this person would have to choose between two. This person was toxic. This person was sexual. A person could have a sexual addiction. This person was have a, a, a sexual addiction, or this person could be gambling a lot. A person liked to have threesomes. This is one was very toxic. Could have been a Capricorn and somebody's in this energy. This person loved the party. This is the one always trying to see what is else out there. Hmm. That person always searching for the next person. The next best person. Because this person could have been on, was in a family already. That's why this person... Didn't have to choose between two people. That person loved the party. That's why the person cut you out of their life and ghost you. Because this person was toxic. Now this person is sad. Because of a loss of relationship. Because you guys are winning. You guys have started a new job, a new project, a new home. You guys are winning. And this person is sad because they end things with you. Could be a Scorpio. Now, this person is feeling left out in the cold. That person feeling all alone. And this person is watching you and stalking you. <laughs> what is this person's true intention? This is the one who could have took a break with you. Now this person feeling very burdened and burnt out. 
Because of someone they wanted victory with. This is someone they had enough of. Hmm. So you had a player. Hmm. And this person's going to send you a lot of in incoming messages. This person's been going uh, back and forth wanting to send you this message because they know you're this Queen of Pentacles. The person know you're a good mother, a good father. You, you're very responsible. And this person see you as someone who's winning. You're getting a lot of attention. That's why the person want to come back. Hmm. All right. Let's see who we have now. Taurus. All right. What do we have for Taurus? With truth and clarity, spirit. What do we have for Taurus? With truth and clarity. Taurus and a person that's on their mind. Show me what I need to see and speak. Taurus. This is going to be for December 14th through the, uh, the 21st. December 14th through the 21st, 2021. What do we have for Taurus and a person that's on their mind? Hmm. Taurus. Someone broke your heart. Someone had broke your heart, Taurus. Or you could have broke somebody else's heart. And you gonna hold back? Someone had broke your heart. And you wanna hold back from this person now? Cause you don't trust this person? A Libra, a Gemini, a younger Libra, a Gemini, and Aquarius. You don't trust this person. You gonna hold back from this person because the person that broke your heart already. You wanna move forward. You want to move forward in your life. Some of you guys going to buy a new car. <laughs> Could you see this person as someone very deceitful? You, you always see this person always looking back. That person always leaves you two swords. They can come back. You will listen to what this person has to say. And you will cut this person out of your life. Because this person left you out in the cold. The person left you all alone when the time that you needed this person. You really don't need this person. You're doing pretty good for yourself. This is one that was emotionalist. This person that showed you no emotions. You didn't know how this person really felt about you. Some of you guys don't care no more because you're winning. You're about to start a new project. A new job. A new home. Or some of you guys going to win the lottery. This is one that wanted this long-term commitment with you. But you feel like this person was full of drama. You feel like this person switch up on you all the time. You feel like you're fighting different people every time you have a, a, a conflict with this person. You feel, like you, feel, you feel like you're fighting a different person every time. Are you ready to end things with this person? You feel like you need to protect yourself of someone that took a break from you. Or you need to take a break from this person. You need some, you need some rest after dealing with this, all these people. <laughs> you want to close out this cycle with this person. Even though you wanted to commit to this person, that person burdening you. And you feel burnt out by this person. You trying to find what is else out there. You look for something else. You're trying to be patient about this. This person could be already married. Or this person will be mother kiss or father kiss. This is someone you should be married to or committed to. Some of you guys just ready to travel. All right. Gemini. What do we have for Gemini? Spirit. Gemini. Show me the cards I need to see and speak for Gemini. Gemini, December the 14th through the 21st, 2021. Gemini, and the person that's on your mind with truth and clarity. Show me cause I need to see and speak with Gemini and the person that's on your mind. Hmm. Somebody, somebody coming in to propose to you. Or somebody coming in and want to take you out on a date. This part, this person is coming in and offering a friendship with you. Hmm. 
In other words, some of you guys about to receive a gift and things going to change for you. You about to receive this gift. <laughs> you about to receive a gift and it's everything, everything, you're going to have something positive coming into your life. You about to receive this gift. And the love said, you about to, somebody's coming in, going to propose to you. And the ball going to be on your court. This person want to take you out. That person want to offer their friendship to you. This is one that could have been trying to juggle you and someone else. I just cannot help it again. Some of you guys about to receive a message. This is going to change for you. You about to receive this gift. You got a, some, a, a, some message coming in for you guys. You about to receive some kind of document coming. And your life is going to change. You about to receive a gift. In a love sense, this person is coming in. The ball is going to be in your court. This is somebody that's up and down with you. This is the one that's trying to juggle you and someone else. Could be a Capricorn. An Aries, Leo, Sag. A uh, uh, Cancer Pisces, a younger Cancer Pisces, Scorpio. This is one was up and down with you. This person will try to juggle you and someone else. This person has been thinking about you. This one that was holding back from you. Because this person could have been sad because of a loss of relationship or possession. This is someone that you see is kind of childlike. You see this person that someone sent you a message. It's always a childlike messages. Try to flirt with you, but you feel like it's childish how they flirt with you. You're looking for someone more mature, not childlike. This is the one that end things with you, or you could have end things with this person. Could be a Scorpio, uh, Aries, Leo, Sag, Gemini, and Aries. This is someone that you wanted the truth from this person about a marriage. You want the truth about. A marriage or you want the truth about a, 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 a business a home business you want the truth this is someone that left you out in the cold you feel like you were all alone this is the one that you, that you wanted to take things to the next level with this person but you see this person someone very deceitful you always feel like that person only bringing in one one you, you always feel like that person wasn't bringing it all to you. Tell me more. This is one that could have closed out the cycle with you. Because of someone from their past. That they were still in love with. Could be a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, or Gemini. Hmm. All right. Next is cancer. What do we have? Let's thirteen twenty five. All right. What do we have for cancer spirit? What do we have for cancers for December the fourteenth through the twenty first? What do we have for cancers? Cancer, the person that's on your mind. Cancers and the person that's on your mind. What do you need to know? What do cancer need to know, spirit? Show me the cards I need to see and speak of cancers and the person that's on your mind. Show me the cards I need to see and speak of truth and clarity. Some of you guys are sad because of a loss of a relationship with someone that's on your mind. And you're not even looking that you still have two cuts behind you. You're not even looking behind you. You still have two people trying to offer you love, but you are, you're looking in front of you. Some of you guys are sad because of lost a relationship with a Scorpio. Some of you guys could be sad because of loss of money. Hmm. Some of you guys are sad because of loss of an inheritance, a winnings. Some of you guys will be sad you're not looking behind you because you're still holding on to someone that you want to have a good time with. Someone that you want to have a successful relationship with.
This is someone that have to choose. This is someone that you have to choose between two people, or this person had to choose between two. Could be a Cancer, uh, a Capricorn, Scorpio. You said you still holding on to this person that you want a successful relationship with. A Scorpio, a Libra, but this is someone that you that always keep their emotions to themselves. This person not giving you any emotions. This is someone you feel like this person tried to manipulate you. You could have met this person at work. This is one I always had you in a third party. You feel like this person was gossiping about you. Tim want this three of pentacles. Because you're this empress. You feel like this person could have been talking about you because you're this empress now. But you do see this person as your soulmate. This is the one you see eye to eye with this person. This is the one that you had to end it with. This person could be a Cancer or a Scorpio. Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus, a Gemini. Capricorn, Cancer. This is the one you had to end it with this person because this person could already be in a family. That's why you had to end it with this person. Could be a with a Virgo. Some of you guys want to start something new. Or you want this person to come back as a new person. You feel like you had to fight. You feel like it was a lot of drama in this relationship with this person. You had a lot of conflict dealing with this person. You feel like this person was, was tired. You feel like this person wasn't putting enough in this relationship with you. Or this person could have been tired of you. Or tired of putting in a relationship with you. You feel like this person was full of drama. Because of someone from their past that broke their heart. Mmm. you. Tell me more of this five of ones. And you feel like this person always want to start a fight with you but they can ghost you and have you to wait because of someone from their past that broke their heart. You feel like that person started this fight with you on purpose but they can leave. This is someone that this person had wanted victory with this person. This is what they were trying to heal themselves or cure themselves for this person, but that person was toxic. They tried to heal themselves for someone that was very toxic. So how did this person feel about cancers now? Your person wanted equal give and take with you. This person thinks about you. Think about marrying you or have kids with you. This is the one who could have hurt you pretty bad, Kansas. This person had destroyed you, Kansas. You went, you had, you went through some kind of trouble times dealing with this person. And you had needed a break. This is someone that you intuitively knew about this person. You knew what was going on with this person. But when that person when that person took a break from you guys, you became this nine of pentacles. That person see you as someone that is unattainable. You're doing you. You're living a good life. That's why the person wants to marry you. <laughs> this is someone that you're gonna get the truth from this person. You're gonna get some kind of clarity about this person. Some of you guys gonna have enough. After you get this, uh, this clarity about this person, you won't have enough of this person. Because you will see this person as a player. All right. Leo. Leo. What do we have for Leo in the person that's on Leo mind spirit? Show them the cards I need to see and speak. Leo. Leo, and the person that's on your mind, what do you need to know? December 14th through the 21st, Leo. Show them the cards I need to see and speak with truth and clarity for Leo and the person that's on their mind. Hmm. Leo.
bill. Someone is still holding on to you. Or you could be still holding on to you, someone. This is someone you saw this person as someone always trying to hold on to that money. You, <laughs> you see this person always clinging on to that money. You saw this person someone could be stingy. This is someone that wants to balance things out with you. That person wants things to be fair. Because this person sees you as someone who's doing pretty good for yourself. You try to be patient with this person. You see this person as a good business person. You see this person could be very grounded. You see this person as always working. This is someone you could have cut this person out of your life, or this person could have cut you out of their life, but there was too much drama dealing with this person. You feel like you had to fight a lot of people, or you feel like you this you feel like this person had a lot of um how do I say this personality. That's why you cut this person out of your life. You feel like the person was too much drama for you. This is the one to see you as winning. That person see you as someone getting a lot of attention. Be a Leo or Cancer. This is one who could have took this break from, took a break from you, but that person still wants you and stalk you. And you want you wanted that person to change. Could be a Sagittarius. You wanted this person to change before you move forward with this person. Because you could be still in love with this person. A Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, or Gemini. But you feel like this person is childlike. You feel like this person's action is always childlike. And you feel like this person will betray you or have, have betrayed you for someone new. Hmm. And that burden you. You feel burnt out about this. This is someone that wants to start this new patch to start with you. This is one from your past, so you can have kids with this person. This is one that thinks about you. This is one could be very toxic. Or this is one could be angry with you. This is one been going back and forth, wanting to see you a message. This one that could have ghost you because this person was hiding things from you. A Pisces, a Virgo, a Capricorn. Aries, Leo, Sag, I see all signs here. All right, what do we have for Virgo? What do we have for Virgo and a person that's on Virgo mind? Show me the class I need to see and speak. Virgo. What do we have for Virgo and a person that's on Virgo mind? Show me the class I need to see and speak. Virgo. Mm, someone see you as they wish fulfillment. This is someone to be proud to have you. A Pisces. This person see you as their twin flame. This is someone that wants a, a long-term commitment with you. And I have something else for you, uh, Virgo. Something that you've been wishing for, you about to get it. Because you guys been going through some kind of trouble times in your life. You about to start a new project. You about to get a new job, a new home, or you some of you guys going to win the lottery. Okay, in a love sense, someone wants this long-term commitment with you. This person could be sad without you. This is one that could have walked away from you and had put your relationship on hold because of a Pisces or because of someone they was hiding from you. That's why your person was acting very deceitful and closed out this cycle with you. Now this person is making a decision and working on things with you. This person wants you, stalk you, get the reasons about you. This is the one from your past, a past life, or you can have kids with this person. Or this person have happy memories with you. This is one whose heart could have been closed off to you 
because they receive a very important message. It could have been about money. They receive a message, a message about money. Or they receive a, board, a very important message from the mother of the kids, the father of the kids, or someone needs to be married to or committed to. That's why the person that took a break from you. Now this person is tired of fighting. The person looking back at you because you're still standing. This is one that's still holding on to you. The person want to balance things out with you. This is one who could have cut you out of their life. Now this person want to come back as a changed person. Because they see you as someone who met that financial goal in life and you really don't need anybody. <clears throat> a Leo, a Virgo, a Sagittarius. I see all signs here. All right. What do we have for Libra? Libra. What do we have for Libra? 22, 25, 26, 01. Libra. And Libra's person. What do we have for Libra and the Libra's person for December 14th through the 21st, 2021? Show me the cards I need to see and speak for truth and clarity. Mmm. Somebody's sad. Could be you sad. Or someone is sad here. Hmm. You sad, but you're not looking behind you. You got some people, you got somebody that's want you. They want to offer you a cup, but you're looking, this, you're looking ahead. You're looking in front of you. You're not looking behind you. You got two people. I see two people wanting to give you, offer you their love. This is someone that wants victory with you. Could be a Leo. This, or this Leo could be sad. Or the Scorpio could be sad. This is one that wants a victory with you. That person see the sunshine. That person want to be happy with you. This is one who could have been breadcrumbing you or given to only given to only one person. This person was a runner. That person always come back. This is one who watch you, stalk you. This is one who could have walked away from you and closed out this cycle with you. Because of someone from their past. They could have had kids with this person. Or they could have had some kind of happy memories of this person from their past. This one to see you as their soulmate. And this one want to come back and give you some kind of truth. Or why they left you out in the cold. But the ball is going to be in your court. Could be an Aries. The ball is going to be in your court with an Aries. Or someone very controlling. This person is coming back because that person see you as someone getting a lot of attention. And now this person want to move forward with you. This one to try to juggle you and someone else. This one could have ghost you. So they could take a new leap of faith with Aries or someone they saw a future with that they had moved to common waters with. Hmm. Some of you guys are going to be happy, very successful because you always give it to people. You always helping people out. You about to be blessed. You about to be happy. You about to be very successful because the universe is going to bless you. All right. Let's see. Scorpio. What do we have for Scorpio and their person? Scorpio. What do we have for Scorpio and their person that's on their mind? Scorpio. Hmm. <laughs> Scorpio, you got a, a Leo and a Cancer want to give you some attention. This person is tired of dealing with you, tired of fighting with you. That person put down their sword. That person want to give you some attention. An Aquarius, this is the one that see you as their soulmate. This is the one that want positive change between you two. An Aries, Leo, Sag. This person will be sad because of loss of relationship or possession or job. This is one that had your relationship on hold. Because the person could have been working or the person put your relationship on hold. Now this person coming back and want to work on things with you. This is the one that wants to put this work in. This is one whose heart could have been closed off to you because of someone that took a break from them. Now your person feeling very uh, guilty and feeling ashamed because of something they have done to you. It could be a Sagittarius. 
because this person was in and out of your life acting like a player. Some of you guys could have been pregnant while this person was in and out of your life. This one to see you as this empress. This one who could have left you out in the cold, left you alone because this person was a runner. That person was running for making any kind of commitment with you. And this person that walked away from you. Now this person want to come back and give you some kind of clarity or give you some kind of truth of why they end things with you. Because they were trying to hide something from you. Their money. Or hide someone they were still attached to. This is the one who got their karma. Could be a mother of your kids, a father of your kids, or someone that you should be married to or committed to. Or this person could be already married. Now this person want to move forward with you and marry you. For some of you guys, on Aries, this one could be very bossy, very controlling. This person thinks about you. This is the one new. Or someone want to come back as a new person. That person see a future with you. That person want to take things to the next level and commit to you. All right. Sagittarius. What do we have for Sagittarius and the person that's on their mind, spirit? Sagittarius and the person that's on their mind. Show me the cards I need to see and speak for Sagittarius with truth and clarity. Sagittarius, December 14th through the 21st. Hmm. Sagittarius. Someone wants to marry you. Or you could be already married. This person slowly coming in. Or some of you guys about to open up your uh, home business. And this is something that you need to commit to. You about to start something new. Or somebody want to marry you. This person is coming in with an uh, uh, offer. This is someone new. Wants to come in with a new friendship. A new a romance. And somebody want to commit to you. Some of you guys are about to receive some documents. I cannot get over this. So, some of you guys are about to receive a very important document. It's going to come in the mail. And it's going to help you start something new. This is something that you need to commit to. This is something that you're going to, you want to start your own business. Hmm. All right, let's go. This person is coming in. This person wants to make a decision and work on things with you. A Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, or a Gemini. This person will still be in love with you. This person wants an equal give and take. This is one to see you as a missed opportunity. This one to want to see you an unexpected message. It could be about money. Or it's give, that person want to give you a gift. This is one to see you as the one doing pretty good for yourself. That pissing that person off. A Virgo. Or a Capricorn. This person want to speak the truth to you. About an Aries. About a manager or a business that person wants to speak the truth to you about. Or someone very controlling, very arrogant that they have moved forward with. This is one that could have cut. That's why the person cut you out of their life. Now this person trying to be patient. This is one that could have took a break from you. Because this person was a runner. Now this person feeling left out of the cold. That person feel like they don't have anybody. This is one could be on, on their last leg. Because of someone close out a cycle with them. They're trying to heal from this person. This is someone that wants a reunion with you. A person wants a successful relationship with you. Could be a cancer. This is one who could have ghost you. Because of someone from their past. That they could have kids with. This is one that could have been talking about you. Or this is one that had you in some kind of third party. You wanted justice. <laughs> you, wanted, you want justice. Because this person had broke your heart and tried to manipulate you. You want victory. You want this, you want this person to get their justice. You want justice. You want this person to get their karma. Hmm. Wow. Okay. Hmm. Capricorn. 34. What do we have a Capricorn and that person spirit? What do we have a Capricorn and their person? Show me the cards I need to see and speak. Capricorn and their person. Show me cards I need to see and speak. Capricorn and their person. Show me cards I need to see and speak. The person that's on your mind. The person see you as their wish fulfillment. Or some of you guys about to get your wish. You about to receive a very important document gonna come in the mail. You about to get your wish. Something is coming. 
But you have to be patient about this, Capricorn. Documents about your mother or father, mother of your kids or father of your kids is someone you should be married to or committed to. You're about to get your wish. About It could be a, a money, an inheritance, or winning. You're about to get your wish. And it's going to make you happy. It's going to be very, you're going to be very successful. Or, some of you, some, or in a love sense, someone wanting to see you as their wish fulfillment. This person been going back and forth, wanting to see you a mess. It could be a Leo. This one, you could be married to this person, or the person could be already be married. This mother your kids, or father your kids, or someone you to be married to, committed to. That person still holding on to you. That person want to be happy with you. This person see you as a missed opportunity. This is one could be very toxic, or this one you see is very toxic. This one who could have walked away from you because of someone they was very attracted to that they fought for the relationship with. Thank you, Spirit. This one you could have met at a work or out and about, or the person could have had you at a third party. The person could have closed out that cycle with you because they wanted a reunion with someone that goes them. Hmm. Now your person's sad because of loss of relationship or possession or job. This is when you see this person as childlike. That's why you cut this person out of your life. That's why you want to cut this person out of your life. This is the one that see you as one unattainable right now. Things are turning in your favor, Capricorn. You're doing pretty good by yourself. You really don't need anybody. Hmm. This is something that's going to happen to you fast. Things about to change for you, Capricorn. I keep saying there's something about to change for you, Capricorn. This is going to make you this nine of pentacles. Something is coming in fast. I see a lot of messages coming in fast going to make you this nine of pentacles. This is something that you've been manifesting into your life. You're about to get this victory. Hmm. Hmm. You're about to get start a new project, a new job. You're about to get a new home or you're going to win a lottery. Hmm. If somebody want victory with, with you and that person want a long-term commitment with you. But you see this person is someone very deceitful. You've been going through some kind of trouble time with this person. This is when you could have been in a family with this person. This is one that had you all in your head. You feel like you had, this is when you had a lot of drama with this person. This is one that could have broke your heart. But now this person will want to balance things out with you because you're getting all this attention. Hmm. Thank you, Spirit. Hmm. Aquarius. All right. Aquarius. Woo. Let's see what's going on with you, Aquarius. Mm. It's going to be for the 14th through the 21st, 2021. Aquarius. Mm. Spirit. What do we have for Aquarius? And the person that's on their mind. What do we have for Aquarius? And the person that's on their mind. Spirit, what we have for Aquarius and the person that's on their mind. Show me who I need to see his feet. December 14th through the 21st. Mm. You're about to receive a very passionate form of childlike energy. You see this person, someone very childish. This person about to send you a message. Or this person will be an Aries Leo Sag about to send you a message. This is the one that could have been holding back on you, a Gemini. This one to see you as their soulmate. Could be a, a Cancer. This is someone that's ready to take this leap of faith with you, or this is someone new, or the person going to come back as a changed new person. Hmm. This person feeling ashamed. Hmm. Now this person want to move forward with you. The person want things to take things to the next level with you. This person going to want this family with you. The person want to take action. It could be a Capricorn or another Aquarius or a Cancer or an Aries, a Gemini. This person want to be happy with you. A Leo. This person been going back and forth wanting to see a message or this person had you, the person was acting up and down with you. And you had enough of this person acting up and down with you? Could you see this person as a player in and out of your life and that person had left you out in the cold? Not Then this person didn't show you no emotions? Mm -hmm. This is the one that wants this victory with you. This one that could have end things with you. Now this person coming back that wants to apologize. You could be a Scorpio. This person wants to take you out. Or this person coming in with a marriage proposal. This person wants to commit to you. 
This is one that wants to marry you, or you could already be married to this person. Now this person would be more committed to you. This is the one that you had a lot of drama with this person. This is one that had your relationship on hold. Now this person want to come back as a changed person because they see you as someone grounded, a good business person. They see you as this empress, bold, beautiful, someone very abundant, or you could be pregnant. This is one that could, could have hurt you pretty bad. This is one that watch you, stalk you. It could be an Aries. Or someone very controlling. This is one could be still holding on to you because this person is very, uh, still very attracted to you. This is one that wants a long time commitment with you. Hmm. All right, Aquarius, Pisces. Spirit, what do we have for Pisces and the person that's on their mind? What do we have, Pisces? And that person that's on their mind. Show me the cards I need to see and speak. Pisces. What do we have for Pisces and the person that's on their mind? Show me the cards I need to see and speak. For Pisces. Mmm. Something's coming in very fast. I see a lot of messages. Or oh, some of you guys are traveling. You're going to travel. Because of you about to start something new. A new project or something coming in. You about to start a new project. You about to get a new job, a new home, or some of you guys gonna win something. And this is something that's coming in very fast. This is something that you were very indecisive about this. This is something that was stressing you out. You wasn't getting in the sleep. You're tired of fighting this. This is something that you had needed to take a break. This is something that you have to perfect your skills. This is something that you had love. You feel like people were breadcrumbing you. This is something that you need to take action on this. You about to start something new. You about to take this leap of faith. You are gonna move forward in your career and you about to get this victory and you about to receive this gift. Hmm. Or in a love sense, Somebody gonna send you a lot of messages. You're gonna get a lot of incoming messages coming in that somebody wants this long term commitment with you. This is someone who hard could be closed off to you, and this person had you all in your head. You wasn't sleeping. This is someone you got tired of fighting with this person, mm, and you needed a break. Now this person want to come back and make a decision, work on things with you because this person will still gonna be in love with you. This person will break from you. Now this person want to take action. Now this person ready to take this leap of faith with you and move forward. And have this victory with you. This is the one that's coming back to apologize to you. Mm -hmm. This is one I want to give you a gift. Or some of you guys about to get receive a gift from the universe to thank the spirit. Mm -hmm. But you need to cut things out of your life that no longer serve you. Mm -hmm. Some of you guys have to have to some of you guys are dealing with the justice system and you need to speak the truth. You need to speak the truth about something. But you feel like you need to protect yourself for something new. You feel like you need to protect yourself. Hmm. You need, if you go into justice system, you need to speak the truth. And you, but you feel like you need to protect yourself. This is something new. That you, that's why you've been holding back. Hmm. Okay. All right, you guys. All right. If you're new to my channel, hey, hit the like button, hit that notification button. You will know when I'm on. If you need a personal reading for me to know your particular story, all the information is going to be down below in the description box. Until next time, you guys. Bye-bye.